Hi everybody, this is Sergio for Practical Combat. Um, this video is going to be the reply to Jack Mays or whatever is your name, Jake or Riker. If anyone wants to get uh, some information on why I call him Jake or Riker, please feel free to use Google as a resource and please go and check it out. Um, Jake, thank you very much for taking the time to do a video reply to me. Um, well, to further I don't know what what's going to do Freddie Lee in regards to your reply but I want to reply to you in regards to certain topics that you mentioned in the video and I want to also clarify a few things for your subscribers for the good people that follow your channel the first thing I have to say Jake I never challenge you to a fight when I call you and I have my assistants calling you we call you to request a sparring got it sparring is pretty, very different from a fight would I like to challenge Jake Mays to a fight? Yes, Jake, I would certainly like to, especially now, since everything you said, it's so away from the reality and the truth. If you would like to have a challenge with me, please let me know. There is nothing wrong with having a challenge. It can be with no rules, like it's a Kung Fu tradition, now that you talk a lot about tradition, or it can be with certain rules, kind of like MMA. Anyway, um, Jake, it's fun. Is for you try techniques or you press your test where you train for the street. It's a real application. It helps you with the stamina, um, it helps you with reflexes, it helps you uh, with timing and also to press your test what works for you or what doesn't work. So I hope I'm educating you by giving you this free lesson. So guys, when I called Jake Mays on the phone, first thing I said was my name, where I was calling from, and the first thing Jake did was lied about his name. Now the video you immediately watch yourself. I don't understand why you have to lie. Every time I call a martial arts school or I call an entity or company, uh, everybody comes back saying, hey, this is this person. Thanks for calling this place. Um, that's the first thing. I don't understand you that like to um, be an advocate of traditional martial art, of health, um, discipline, why did you, did you lie with something so simple? Um, additionally to that, um, when, when I called you was because my subscribers were letting me know that um, certain videos of mine were extremely resemble to yours, so I would put a video of me kicking. 16 hours later, a video of you kicking with the same background and similar kicks will pop out. Uh, also, and guys, try it out. Just put Sergio Perez Martial Art on Google, and you will see when you do that, the Jake Mays videos pop out. So, the only reason why I think that's happening is because you're putting my name on your tags. So, trying, you have so much um, videos on Kung Fu that when you put um, certain Kung Fu style, uh, yours is going to appear first. So, in this case, um, when people were trying to search for me, you were appearing. And when people would put in certain parts of martial arts, your videos were popping up and it caught my attention that and maybe you were putting my tag. So I called you, wanted to meet you and didn't have much info on you. Then after the call and I saw how you reacted, I started searching for you. Uh, additionally to that, Jake, I, I think you want to promote traditional martial arts, but you're hiding a lot of things from your people. Uh, for instance, um, me, myself, the first martial art I did was karate. I'm a fourth degree back then in karate. I started training when I was six and a half years old until I was 16 years old. At that time, I started training Bagua with Ray in Cuba until I was 19. And when I was 19, I started training with Ray's master in Havana City. Um, his name is Roberto Vargas Lim, the National Wushu School, where they gave me this degree here where I completed the style. And, and you know, I've been training or I train in at least, I don't know, five, seven years of Bagua, pure Bagua, and I had to pass a test with exams, fighting knowledge and history in front of a big committee, uh, and they all gave me my certification. Those are credentials. Then I came to USA, I started training for a little while, I started training American Kempo with Ricky and also Black Belt second degree. And then with Honky King, he's from Venezuela, he, but I mean, he lives in Venezuela, he's a Korean guy, he's a world champion in Taekwondo, and Luis Caimisales, I'm a first degree back then in Taekwondo. So, 
I've been training martial arts for a long time. I also have done Wing Chun. I also have trained Charlie Kung Fu with Alex Molina for several years. Years, I'm sorry. And when I see you executing some of the movement that you claim to be Bagua, I mean, it resembles with Wing Chun and Bagua, but it's not real Bagua. So this is why I really wanted to talk to you because. Every time I forward or I forward one of your videos to a Bagua master from different places in the earth, they really say, oh my God, it looks like Bagua, but it's not Bagua. So, you put Wing Chun videos. I am part of the Wing Chun Forum. There is around 80,000 members. All the big caliber name of the Wing Chun, the big, the small, everybody is there. Everybody in the Wing Chun community, community is there. When everybody wants to review your form, I am not saying it's not true, but nobody knows what's your lineage. Nobody knows who's your Sifu in Wing Chun. The movement that you do violates the principle of all the lineage in Wing Chun. If you really practice Wing Chun, if you're a real traditional martial art, why don't you come forward and say what's your lineage? Maybe you train an unknown lineage, secret lineage of Wing Chun that nobody knows of. But I know people who train with Bruce Lee. I know people who train um, with um, students of Ian Man directly and they don't recognize what you're doing as Wing Chun. Also, I don't want to comment on Tai Chi, but the soft defense that you put will get somebody killed. Are you, are you concerned about that, Jay? Are you concerned of you teaching like how to blow a candle with Chi? Are you concerned how to, uh, if you, that you may kill somebody with your soft defense technique? Because you don't explore. Maybe you don't know the difference because you don't explore. If you haven't, being exposed to real violence, how do you know how to combat violence? It's not ethical. It's like you are teaching people how to swim in dry land. And I don't think that you have ever competed. Um, you claim to be a wrestler. I don't see any colored flowers in your ears. Uh, I don't see any footage of you in your wrestling years. I'm not saying it's not true, but just come forward and show it to the people. That's all I wanted to see from you. Now, when I call you, I start getting uh, I know that you have a lot of fun, I know that you have a lot of people that support you, I know that you have a large following, but followers, subscribers, and are not aware to measure your authenticity. You measure that with lineage and proving that what you can do works under a, under a pressure testing situation. You haven't done that. You won't, don't want to expose your lineage. You, you claim to be a traditional martial artist. Okay, traditional martial art guys. Uh, it's usually um, the styles are familiar styles like the Hung Garden, the Choi Yi Food. And for instance, Choi Yi Food is a hybrid martial art. It comes from two different um, Shaolin arts. The guy joined it up, joined it up, and then he created Choi Yi Food. And he was like, people were looking at him like an outcast, like, oh, what the fuck you did that? Um, in reality, uh, you had to have several sifus. And in order for you to teach, you have to have a ceremony. They have to award you of a letter on sometimes a title that allows you to teach. Have you been awarded with such title? Do you that you claim to be a traditional martial arts? Have you ever uh, been awarded um, with a certification to teach Wing Chun, to teach Bagua? If you agree, if somebody has done it, show it because it's necessary in the traditional martial arts, like fighting is necessary. So when I call you guys, when I call you on the phone, I start getting harassment text message, like lots of them. And I know that you have subscribers, but unfortunately, I don't think that nobody would spend eight hours, nine hours commenting on my videos, like 500 comments a day for two, three weeks. And let me tell you something, I'm an IT specialist. I am, have two degrees in computer science and I decided to run your IP. When I run the IP of the comments of the, um, of the YouTube YouTubers that were commenting on my um, on my videos, attacking me, attacking my security, threatening my family, threatening, uh, telling me that I was obese, uh, attacking my reputation. It was a nightmare. I got, I got like two, three weeks of harassment texts, and when I went to, to check them out, I checked their IP, and it wants to know what's an IP, use Google. Turns out that the account for Simon on China, Eddie Negrino, BB1337, were the same as that as Shaolin Center, which is your main channel for martial art. And the IP was 7214199151. It was the same IP for all the accounts. I am not saying it was you, maybe it was a follower that you have, that it was such a good hacker that took on a personal mission to hack your computer and text to your computer to my computer 
and he went to all that hustle to trying to put me down. Uh, it takes more than that. So additional to that, guys, I work at the airport of Miami. I have a high position here, and since I work with sensitive information, I went to the security department and explained the text message that was going on, everything that was happening with my YouTube channel, and said, okay, let me run the IP. So they run the IP for Sinem in China, Edina Greeno, and Chaolin Center. As per TSA and security, it is the same computer, it is the same IP. I am not saying it was you, but it's too coincidental that, somebody, that three people go attack me in the same way for the same amount of time, and those people have the same IP address of your computer at the Shaolin Center. It is a big coincidence. Again, the IP was 7214199151. And when I told that to Eddie Negrino, which was the account that was more active, um, he said to me that um, I asked him if he was doing that for, you know, to defend him against, uh, I mean, to defend his opinion. For his subscribers, he said to me, my viewers are clear in my channel, kind of like that's an admission of guilt, guilt. And at the same time, when we compare that to your most operandi, like when I call you, you didn't want to say who you were, it's kind of shady. I'm not saying it was you, but I mean, TSA said it was the same computer that used the same channel by BB1337, Eddie Negrino and Charlie Center. And I don't see why will anybody go to the venue and not listen to the facts. Because all I was asking me, who was your teacher? Who told you Wing Chun? Who told you Wagwa? Why your Wagwa doesn't look like any Wagwa in the world? Why your Wing Chun doesn't look like any Wing Chun in the world? Uh, and Jake, I would still like to collaborate with you if you're interested. I would really like to spar with you and, and challenge for your information are very valid in the Chinese martial arts. Uh, you claim to be that you claim to be a Chinese martial artist, I demand that you expose your lineage and I demand that you show some sparring. Because this may not escalate, but I don't know how you will live if a 14, 15 year old kid tries to do what you teach and it gets hurt and the father goes to look at you with all the power of the resources of the law and looks at you and you may be responsible, Jake. Okay, thank you very much, my brothers. I hope that this video clarifies everything and subscribe if anyone likes. And I mean, that's it, guys. Hi, I'm C. Flores Molina, I'm the head instructor of the Golden Dragon Kung Fu Academy, Miami. Uh, I know Sergio Perez from a long time ago. Uh, he's a good father, good friend, good student. He was practicing with me um, a few years. Um, he spent a lot of time practicing. He's a good, good practitioner. He knows uh, a lot martial art, and he spent also a lot of time helping people um, to understand the concept, the element of the martial arts. So I have the best opinion of him, and I'm very glad to to be part of his family too. Hello, this is Ifu Javier in Miami, Florida. I've been training martial art for about 44 years and I met Sergio Perez about five years ago. And I can tell you he's a very serious and dedicated martial artist. He trains very hard and very real. How you doing guys? My name is Master Luis Canizales, boxing coach, the UFC King of Kendall. I wanna talk to you about somebody, one of my black belts. He's a first degree black belt in Taekwondo, WTF, about Sergio Perez. Amazing instructor, amazing, respectful guy, you know, help the community, working with kids, very professional, and the first thing, amazing fighter. Really, really good fighter. I'm, I'm respecting a lot. Hey, Sergio, keep going. I, I know you have a bright career. Keep going, working with your people, with your fighters. Hey, you're going to be amazing. Thank you, Sergio, and keep going. Bye. Hola, mi nombre es Javier. Soy instructor de Kung Fu Cholifa desde el año 2002. Eh, he practicado varios estilos de, de artes de combate desde que era pequeño. Eh, soy cinturón negro segundo dan de Jiu Jitsu. 
cinturón azul de sanda. He practicado Tai Chi, es decir, practico Tai Chi, Chi Kung. He hecho karate, karate Yochimón, karate Chito Ryu, cinturón negro en Kung Fu Keizao. Eh, llevo, fui vicepresidente de la Asociación Cubana de Cholifa Kung Fu en Cuba y su presidente técnico. Conozco a Sergio Pérez desde hace unos cuantos años, de, bueno, desde que me mudé para aquí, para Miami. Sergio es un excelente practicante, excelente persona. Eh, lo que más me, me motiva de él es su constante búsqueda de, del conocimiento, buscando siempre cuestionarse su técnica para mejorarse cada día, mejorar cada día la técnica, ver qué técnica funciona, qué no funciona, qué se adapta a su condición física. Y eso es lo más importante en un artista marcial. Eh, creo que Sergio es de esos artistas marciales que casi ya no abundan, que siempre están cuestionando, como decía o tratando de, de, de ver la funcionalidad de cada técnica de combate que va aprendiendo, que va conociendo. Así que he entrenado con él, he tenido el placer de entrenar con él, compartir con él. Hemos intercambiado debates técnicos y, y es... ¿Qué más puedo decir? Saludos, muchas gracias. A Miguel Arroyo. Owner of Valhalla Gym, down here in Mexico. Uh, I do Filipino martial arts. I do Filipino martial arts. I'm the, uh, the official representative for uh, for the Cuba Dose Party system here. Um, been involved doing martial arts for about 33 years now. Uh, doing uh, things like Taekwondo, Karate, American Kempo, a little bit of Wing Chun, uh, full contact, kickboxing, you know. Um, Skrima, Skrima, that's my main. Um, martial arts right now. Um, I have uh, groups uh, training on Cuba dos Separes in Colombia, Ecuador, Cuba, small group in Miami too. Um, Sergio, who's Sergio? I know Sergio for so many years now. Uh, he's a very dedicated martial artist. His primary focus was um, doing Chinese martial arts. It's very good. I think uh, he he did something, uh, some Wing Chun, and also Choi Li Foot. I think um, he's very involved in the MMA stuff. Um, actually, he trained a little bit on on on, on the American Top Team Miami. You know? um, he also does Sanda. You know, he's a very complete uh, athlete. Um, he's the kind of guy who likes to to to, you know, to test everything, test every concept. He likes to try, uh, you know, he tries to test uh, uh, every, you know, drill, you know, technique, anything, anything, you know, looking for a better way to do this or to do that, you know, uh, you know, trying to improve, trying to improve every day. Actually, uh, I think he's now uh, training for the tournament or stuff like that, you know. Uh, he's, as I said before, He's a very good martial artist, you know. He's a Greek guy. Uh, he's, a, he's a, you know, a very good friend. You know? um, for me, for me, he's the type of guy who, who, who who's uh, always looking for, for you know, for getting better, getting better at what he does, you know. Uh, and that's awesome. That's awesome, right? Uh, that was my two cents on on Sergio. Peace from Mexico, guys.